What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bloodman Paranormal. Zach and Emily here. I know it's weird seeing Emily on an Urban Haunts, but this is Urban Haunts and uh, we're gonna actually be checking out Alton, Illinois, which in fact is the most haunted smallest town in America. So this is gonna be crazy. Um, never been to Alton before, so this is my first time seeing these locations. Same thing for me. Yeah, same for her. Um, so we're gonna go to some of the most haunted places in Alton, Illinois. And uh, we might investigate a little bit in this episode. So uh, yeah, let's get to our first location. So our first stop is the Lincoln Shields Recreational Area. This is also known as Smallpox Island back in the day. See, during the Civil War, a pa pandemic was happening, or epidemic, whatever you want to call it, uh, where smallpox was running rapid, and it's almost like COVID, um, how COVID is now. It's killing people, and you know, um, there's people dying from it. Well, they would bring the people who had it when they died, they would bring it right to this island and they'd bury them on this island. As you can see, we're surrounded by water, so it is kind of like an island. Um, this is the memorial for the uh, all the people who died because of smallpox or other reasons. Um, and there is about 300 Civil War soldiers here, mostly Confederate, and uh, 16 civilians. So uh, you can imagine why this island would be haunted. This is also um, named after uh, Lincoln and Shields, which was a Confederate uh, general, I think. So uh, obviously this, this area has a lot to do with the Civil War. I don't know exactly the hauntings that happened through here, but we're gonna run an ovulus in a spirit box and see what we can catch. We're gonna pop the ovulus on real quick. Empath heard in older, I don't know, because we're by the water. Older, several safe i'm getting a ton of words through this thing right now and we are on an island levin wish fame used master that's talking up a storm stuff strong is that your last name is your last name strong no one named strong What's your last name? Definitely recommend checking this place out. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Fishing here would be really awesome too. So the uh, next stop is First Unitarian Church. Um, this is right across the street from the city hall. It's right behind us right now. We're not gonna go in this one. Uh, this church was originally built in 1836, but it actually burnt down two different times and they just kept rebuilding it over the same spot. Um, this was part of the Underground Railroad. So they actually brought uh, you know slaves here to hide. Uh, because the Missouri or the Mississippi River is right there. So slaves would cross the river. It's actually right down that way. I don't know if you can see it or not, but slaves would cross the river and hope to um, like escape being a slave and be free. And they would come to this church and this is one of the spots they would hide. Uh, this church is actually haunted by one of the pastors, Philip Mercer, and several other spirits uh, from the Underground Railroad and many other things throughout its history like when it burnt down and stuff so we're gonna head to our next location our next stop in olden is the mineral springs hotel or mineral springs mall um this is a giant building in right on the edge of alton and uh it was a hotel at first and it was built on top of a mineral spring so that's where it gets its name from um it's gone through several owners and uh as you can imagine, as this whole old hotel is, there's been several suicides, but a lot of the spirits that remain here, actually it's believed that when some people die, their spirits travel to this hotel and they reside here. So very interesting. Um, never heard of a place like that before. So, but apparently it's haunted by a lot of different spirits, uh, including the one of a little girl that is uh, in the pool area. So they think that she either slipped or something like that. So, but we're gonna go in here, see if we can walk through it a little bit and see it, but uh, we'll see. But this is Mineral Springs Hotel. So yeah, there's a ton of shops inside when you walk inside, including a barber shop, uh, oddity shop. They do ghost tours here. Um, and uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's really awesome in here actually. I 
die. <laughs> oh, nice. Come spin this. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna die from a stroke at the same time together. Yay. <laughs> Stuff is like so cool. What are you doing? It's always good time to work out. <laughs> so our next stop is actually Alton Military Prison. This prison was built in 1833 and it was used for prisoners of war as well as other prisoners at the time. It got closed down in 1867 after the Joliet prison opened up and they didn't need this anymore so all these prisoners were sent all the way to Joliet uh, from Alton which is about a four hour drive I think but yeah this was used during the Civil War for prisoners of war and uh, Confederate soldiers who were uh, taken in and this is the only remaining wall left of that prison because they had to tear it down unfortunately we're gonna do a little bit of ghost hunting here and uh, see if we can communicate with anybody that was here uh, during the time that it was open Prisoners here would also end up with smallpox and rubella, uh, which was also another disease during that time. Uh, and they were just treated like garbage here, man. They were treated like pure shit. Hello, how are you? Can you tell us what it was like in this prison? This is a historical monument, so they can't even tear this down. It just has to stay here. So we're gonna go walk up there. That's the McPike Mansion. Uh, I just wanted to tell the history in the car real quick. It was built in 1869 and it had families in it until the 1950s when eventually it went abandoned. Um, they believe that it is haunted by the McPike family and their servants. This might actually be the most haunted mansion in the US. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous and we might be able to get a tour of it today. If not, in the future, we will be investigating it uh, private overnight because this is a place that I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. And I can't believe that I'm literally sitting right in front of it right now. I don't know how you feel because you don't really know about this place, but it's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's so like in depth. Yeah. So we're gonna go up there, maybe bother the owners real quick and just see what's going on. Maybe we can do a walkthrough. Um, if not, then we're just gonna head to our next location. You guys will see that in a bit. Just messing around with this by the mansion. They aren't doing tours today, but this place is beautiful. Can we speak to one of the McPike family members? Scent. Love this place. So our next stop, and I think this is probably our coolest stop after driving through it just now, um, is Alton City Cemetery. This cemetery, from official records, dates back to 1812 which is probably the oldest cemetery i've ever been to to be honest with you and there is one spirit that we know for sure roams around this place and his name is elijah lovejoy and elijah lovejoy was a publisher who was defending his um his press at the time and got shot in an, in an angry mob by a shotgun and they believe that his spirit still resides in this cemetery and roams around and uh, he actually has a huge memorial dedicated to him. Now we are gonna do a graveyard shift here. Uh, we're actually gonna film it right here in a second and we're starting to take photos already. And um, if you wanna see that graveyard shift, then it'll be out this month on the channel. And when it is out, I'll put the card up there. So yeah, uh, this is Alton City Cemetery and it's probably the most haunted cemetery in Alton. Uh, it's the oldest one and the biggest one and it's just absolutely beautiful like i said you'll see it on the graveyard shift coming out this month anyways let's go to our next location so our last location around our destination uh through alton is milton schoolhouse um this school is no longer a school uh, i don't know what it's being used for right now but obviously there's people that reside here so i wouldn't recommend coming here uh does it like there's a sign so maybe it's something but we've run out of time today and we can't really stop and see what it is um unfortunately uh, so this school, uh, it's pretty old. There was a girl uh, student who was raped and murdered here. Uh, janitor committed suicide and many other things, bad things happen here that creates a bunch of negative energy um, that makes it haunted. Please excuse my windshield. Jesus Christ. Do you want me That's to bad. Open here, open the window. There we go. That's oh, a better shot right there. My mirror, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of negative energy here. Uh, like I said, I don't know what it is now, so I can't tell you if they do ghost hunts or not. Um, it was featured on Ghost Hunters, uh, like Taps. So they did do a ghost hunt here and I believe they caught a lot of stuff. So uh, yeah, I don't know a lot about this place. That's pretty much all I know. But 
yeah, this is Milton Schoolhouse. Anyways, guys, there's a ton of haunted places in Alton that we weren't able to hit, and we hit a lot of them, especially the major uh, haunted locations, and we did some investigations on this one, so sometimes we don't get to do that. Um, luckily, I had Emily with me here today, so she took some photos, so you can see those photos on Blood Moon or on Dark Tricks Photography. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Comment down below where you want us to go next because we're willing to travel uh, within reason Midwest-wise. If you enjoyed this episode, please give us a like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys on the next one.